This past weekend, I had one of the most fun and most fulfilling weekends of my entire life, participating in the 48 hour filmmaking contest for TIFF Next Wave. All my best friends came together to make something that we're incredibly proud of, and despite how sleep deprived I am at the moment, I do this all over again. Now I can't reveal anything specific right now, but this experience made me look back at my filmmaking journey, and it was around this time three years ago where I really started taking real action on my dream. Y'all understand something about me. It was around this time in 2018 where I was really confused and really depressed and it was around this time where I started applying to film schools where they all require you to make a one to two minute short film. Something I've never done before. I had never picked up a camera before to go make a movie, but I had this Canon Rebel T6 just sitting in my room I got for my birthday, so I decided I had nothing to lose. Three years later, I am incredibly proud that I made this movie as it was really the start of my filmmaking journey. However, I haven't really revisited the film all that much because I've gone out and make much bigger things. But now it's about as good of a time as ever to go revisit this movie after having such a big career highlight. So what I will do right now is watch the film, react to it, and interject my inner thoughts in there. So without further ado, let's get on with it. All right, right at the block, that, that, that establishing shot. Honestly, I have to be honest, that day I had no idea how to establish it. I had a certain idea how to shoot it, but I didn't know how to establish the situation and everything. So I kind of just slapped this zoom in shot in there just to make it work. I, I, I mean, it worked. I'm just, I just kind of laugh at how it all came together. Man, that was out of focus, man. I had no idea what I was doing. Honestly, I just operated the camera as it went. It looked out in focus in the monitor, but wow, that was not, uh, I, I mean, I kept it in. It's part of filmmaking history. What can you do? That angle was actually suggested by Hassan. It was not by me. That was actually a really early sign of me and I had the power of collaboration because I had all these ideas for shots. He was like, why don't we get a shot from the rear view mirror? I'm like, we'll try that. And then it became kind of an iconic shot that I captured. I'm just saying, like, it was a really, really cool shot to have. Fuck. <laughs> well, that was my first ever short film. It was super bare bones. It looks like garbage. There's a lot to actually talk about, honestly. Obviously speaking, this movie is incredibly rough. I mean, look at it. This is 6,400 ISO all over it. I had no clue how to use a camera. I had no clue how to light anything. I thought, all oh, this looked good a day up. I had no idea how the camera theory works and everything. And like, yeah, it kind of shows throughout. But also, I was using the onboard microphone of my camera and it sounds like garbage, honestly. Like the auto is not smooth together. There's no room tone. Honestly, I also did not know what I was doing. So yeah, looking back, technically speaking, this is me of a roughest shape. But first of all, this film actually started my whole filmmaking approach because I think you notice my movies, I don't really lock down shots on a tripod all that much. I prefer for my viewer to feel like they're in the character's shoes. That's the exact approach I took with this movie because I wanted the viewer to feel like they're in the character's shoes and this movie does it. And it's kind of crazy to see that from my earliest work, no matter how rough it is, it kind of inspired my path in filmmaking going forward. And again, this is rough, but you have to understand this is what I needed to make in order to improve. I know it's a really big cliche, but I spent a lot of time in high school dreaming about making a movie rather than making one. And this is when I finally just started to make one and it was rough, but I was like, you know what? I see my path going forward. I can improve from this. And now when I look at my filmmaking journey in just these three years, I am blown away by the result I have done in such little time. So other than looking back at my filmmaking journey, the reason why I made this video is because I want to tell you, the audience, you need to start somewhere. You can have a dream and it's okay, but sitting around just dreaming about it instead of actually doing something about it is not going to do anything for you. If you take action and do something, it will be rough. You will probably look back and be like, I could have improved a lot of things but you will be glad you started. Because honestly, had I told myself three years later, I'd be producing the work I am doing today, I would have never believed you, but that's the situation. I am glad no matter how rough this movie was, I got my start from it and I'm incredibly proud of it. All right guys, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I know this was a quick one, but this was really in my mind and I really wanted to talk about it and kind of go more improvisational and everything. If you guys like this video, please give me a subscribe, like the video, click the notification bell for alerts and brand new videos and comment below. Tell me you guys thought the video. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video.